Today we will cover in terms of the also method is one of the automatic uh, global threshold um, algorithm. They can be used in order to separate between foreground and the background from one image. So also is the automatic methods means that uh, based on the given image, you can automatically find a single threshold value that can optimally separate uh, the foreground. So how also work is based on the very uh, simple idea. It means that you need the you find the threshold values that are able to minimize the weighted within class variance. Within class variance for this case means that you separate between the foreground and then background. You calculate the within class variance for the foreground and the background. So this is the symbol that is very important that we will use in the calculation later on. Please remember this symbol. So also operates directly on the histogram instead of the, the whole image. So means that it will be very fast and then it's actually not related directly with respect to the image dimension. For whatever dimension, first step is that you construct the histogram of the image and then later on also will work based on the every pixel that you have constructed in the histogram. So usually the histogram will be distributed from 0 to 55 only based on the uh, pixel bit for that image. So this is some simple illustration on how we can uh, use also in order to separate uh, foreground and the background. So let's say you are given this uh, image. Uh, this is grayscale image. So usually every grayscale image, you will have the number with respect to the pixel value for this case. The blacks is actually zero. And then as you go to the higher pixel values, uh, the, the color will be more to light gray. So the first step of also mean you construct the histogram. Histogram means that you plot the 2D uh, graph in which the x-axis will be the pixel values and then the y-axis is actually the interval or the count of that value inside of the image. So this is some um, simple example on how you are able to construct the histogram. So for this case, we have 1, 2, 3, 4 pixel value. So we just plot that things uh, in the histogram. So the process will be repeated for all the pixel value inside of the image and then eventually you will have this nice histogram in which you have the label in the y-axis regarding the amount of pixel value and also the corresponding uh, pixel value. So based on the constructed histogram, uh, how the also works. So as I mentioned previously, we calculate uh, the weighted variance. So weighted variance will be calculated for every uh, pixel distribution value inside of the histogram. So for this case, we calculate the weighted variance for every pixel values for 0, 30, 80, 130. And this is the corresponding uh, within class variance. So based on the calculated value, we then scan for the minimum. So for this case, the minimum is uh, 444. So we can make a conclusion based on the also method means that uh, pixel value, which is the 80, will be utilized as the optimal threshold in order to separate uh, foreground and the background. So since we have this thing, we have the threshold value based on the also calculation. The next step is that for every pixel that is higher than 80 will be labeled as the foreground and then less than that thing will be considered as the background. So finally, after we perform the segmentation process, uh, this will be the result and we call this as the binary image. Also, in order to execute the also, there are a few assumptions made. The first thing is the histogram by model. By model means that in your histogram, at least you have two peaks and one valley. You can have more peaks, but you need to minimally have two peaks to the two distinct peaks and then one valley in order to ensure that also will work properly. Second thing is that uh, also assume the stationary statistics. 
stationary statistics means that uh, you will only determine single uh, value of threshold for the whole image but it can be modified to be uh, locally adaptive by introducing kernel it will be later on so the third thing which is the most important also will only works if the uniform illumination is distributed in the image so this is uh, very important because of <coughs> for the global threshold the illumination inside of the image must be uniform if this is not the case then you need to opt for the another methods in order to finding the optimal threshold that can separate uh, foreground properly so uh, previously i have shown you that uh, also hardly relying on the uh, weighted class variance which is to minimize the intra class variance so how are we able to calculate the variance so this is the symbol of the variance variance is actually combination of the foreground foreground weight and then the background weight times the variance of the foreground and then the variance of the background so this is the only formula that we use in order to determine the uh, weighted class variance of the also so to show how the things works mathematically uh, i have prepared some simple example so for this example you are given this image which is the same image that i i have shown you previously and the corresponding histograms so the aim is that we will use the also calculation in order to calculate the weighted variance for every threshold value and then later on how we're able to utilize that thing in order to determine the uh, optimal threshold so for this question i will show you uh, how we're able to determine the optimal threshold by using also methods so uh, first thing first is that for each of the histogram that we have constructed so we need to determine what we call as the uh, within class variance weighted class variance so weighted class variance you need to calculate in terms of the probability which is the weight for the foreground and its variance and also for the background the same information so I will show you a uh, step by step on how we are able to calculate that thing. So uh, first thing first is that uh, so we start with uh, th equal to zero and then later on we move until th equal to 130. So for the first case if th equal to zero. So uh, we need to divide that thing into two categories. The first one is the foreground, second one is the background. So for th equal to zero, for any values that is higher than zero, we take it as the foreground, and then uh, lower than this value is considered as the background. So for this particular case, for the foreground we have uh, zero, thirty, eighty, and one hundred thirty, and then we don't have any information for any value for the background. So this is I call as the step number one means that we start a threshold and then select uh, where is the location with respect or value sorry value with respect to the foreground and the background so uh, it is good that we just put the number for each of these uh, pixel value so that we can calculate information regarding uh, the means and the variance later on so uh, step number two we need to determine in terms of the probability for the foreground and also the background so in order to determine the probability or the weight we need to determine the whole dimension of the image so how we able to determine that thing is that we just need to sum up everything uh, in terms of the numbers of the interval 4 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 which is equal to n equal to 16 which is the total dimension of this part so uh, in order to calculate the probabilities so uh, the since the whole pixel value <coughs> is actually belongs to the foreground so we can say our probability of this value 
is equal to 1 then for the WB it can be easily calculated by 1 minus 1 which is equal to 0 <coughs> so we are actually completed in the model step 2 so we we'll move to the step 3 step 3 we need to calculate in terms since we want to determine the variance the first part is that we need to calculate in terms of the mean so we need to find the mean for the foreground and also the mean for the background so mean for the background since we don't have anything so we don't have any values uh, mean of the background so uh, we calculate in terms of the mean for the foreground so I will show you how we are able to determine this information easily by using the uh, scientific calculator so first thing first what you need to do is that you need to set your mod to the SD so just select SD so once you select that thing uh, first thing first is that you need to clear the memory that has stored information previously so we are able to do that thing by you pressing shift and CLR and then you see SCL so press one and then press the equal so the memory is clear so uh, next what we need to do is that we just need to key in all this information to this calculator in order to determine the means and also later on in step 4 we need to calculate in terms of the variance for the uh, foregrounds and then variance for the background so for the variance for the foregrounds so how we able to key in the information first thing first is that uh, zero and then we just press the M plus uh, button so you see and equal to one so we have actually insert value of zero since we need to insert zero four times we just need to press another three one two three so which is n equal to four so we have actually insert all this information so the next part is that uh, we need to enter 30 30 we have three times so this is 30 one two three and then later on 80 so 80 we need to insert that thing four times 80 one two three four and then finally 130 130 we need to insert that things five times 130 five times one two three four five so once you have insert every information you can see your n supposed to be in the same dimension of your uh, foreground which is in this case n equal to 16 so once you have insert all the necessary information we can easily determine the uh, the mean and also the variance so uh, how to determine the means you need to press the shift and then you see this thing number two s v a r so just press that thing so you will left with uh, some options here so this is actually the mean uh, this is actually the uh, standard deviation so first thing first is that we determine the mean by pressing number one equal so this is actually the mean value so our main value for the foreground is 66.25 so the next part is the variance for the foreground uh, we press the same key shift S V A R. so press number two which is the standard deviation so this is actually the value for the standard deviation since we are interested in the, the, to determine the variance you just need to press the uh, the square square button so this is actually the answer which is uh, two six Six zero point uh, six four. So this is the step number three and four. So we have calculate the uh, the mean and then the variance. So the final step, which is step number five, we need to calculate the weighted variance for this particular threshold. I just put the variance, which is for th equal to zero, is actually equal the weight which is 1 times uh, your parents to 660.94 six, 
then plus this is since null and then this is null so for this case our weighted uh, within class variance for the th equal to 0 is actually equal to 2660.64 so this is the first one but we need to remember we need to calculate uh, you need to remember we need to calculate for every uh, pixel value so we go to number two so we have settled in terms of th equal to zero so the next part is that we move on to the uh, th equal to 30 so for th equal to 30 so the same thing the first step we need to determine the foreground and then the background so for the foregrounds wherever equal to higher than 30 is actually equal to foreground and then uh, less than that thing is equal to background so foreground will be uh, 30 80 and then 130 we just put the interval which is 3 uh, 4 5 here and then the background the value is actually uh, 0 which is interval of 4 so the next part is that uh, we find the, the weight or the probability so wf is actually equal to 3 plus 4 plus 5 3 plus 4 plus 5 over 16 which is our total dimension so this is actually equal to 12 over 16 12 over 16 which is uh, 0. 75 and then the weight for the so for the background is actually equal to 1 minus 0 0.75 which is equal to 0 0.25 so we are settled in terms of the uh, weight calculation so the next part is that uh, the mean we need to calculate the mean for the foreground and then the mean for the background so for this case the mean for the background is actually equal to 0 it's easy right 0 times 4 over 4 which is equal to 0 so we need to find the uh, mean for the foreground sorry so uh, for this particular case uh, we can easily determine the mean for the foreground by using the same uh, process first thing first please remember to clear the memory so that we can insert newly fresh uh, information so first thing first is that uh, we have 30 3 times 1 2 3 and then next 80 4 times 1 2 3 4 and then 130 uh, 5 times 1 2 3 4 5 so 12 right is supposed to be the same number as total for the foreground weight so uh, we find the mean the mean is actually equal to 88.33 so this is the mean so the next part is the variance for foregrounds variance for the background so variance for the foreground is actually equal to 39 square so you have uh, 1 5 9 7.2 2 so this is actually the variance for the uh, foreground and then uh, for background since the mean is zero so the variance will be also equal to uh, zero uh, finally we calculate in terms of the weight experience weight experience for th equal to 30 for this case is actually 0 0.75 times the foreground uh, variance 1597.22 this is uh, 0 0.25 times 0 
so actually this thing equal to uh, one 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 nine seven point nine two so this is actually the variance voltage equal to 13 so the we move to the next step in which we calculate in terms of the 40H uh, okay TH equal to 80 the same step foreground and then the background so for the foreground so we have 80 and then 130 which is this is 4 this is 5 and then for the background you have 0 this is 4 and then uh, 30 so this is 3 so next the weight of the foreground and the background WF equal to 4 plus 5 which is equal to 9 over 16 9 over 16 uh, equal to 0 0.5625 to 5 and then uh, background is actually equal 1 0 0.4375 so settle so the next part we calculate in terms of the mean for the foreground and then mean for the background variance for the foregrounds and then variance for the background so the same things first create the memory go to zero so we, we start with the mean and then variance calculation for the foreground so we just need to insert 80 4 times 1 2 3 4 and then 130 5 times 1 2 3 4 5 next calculate into the mean which is 107.78 and then the variance so it's actually equal to 617.28 so settle for the foreground next we calculate for the background so the same thing 0 4 times 1 2 3 4 and then 33 times 1 2 3 so the mean will be equal to 12.857 and then the variance uh, will be equal to square root 220.41 okay so finally the same thing we calculate in terms of the weighted variance for th equal to 80 so foreground 0.5625 times 617.28 plus uh, 0 0.4375 times uh, 220.41 so the whole answers will be this thing times 0 0.4375 plus 0.5625 times 617.28 so it will be equal to 443.65 so finally uh, we calculate in terms of the final part which is for th equal to 130 so for the foreground just 135 and then for the background will be uh, 0 30 and then 80 so 0 will be 4 30 will be 3 and then 80 will be uh, 4 <coughs> so the same thing we calculate the weight for the foreground and the background foreground will be 5 over 16 which is equal to 0 0.3125 and then the background
background will be 0 0.6875 so the main for the foreground and then the main for the background so the mean for the background, sorry, foreground will be 130 times 5 over 5 which is equal to 130 straight away. And then the variance for the foreground, since all the same values so that we don't have any variation, so this thing will be equal to 0. So uh, means for the background, so we need to insert that thing in our calculator, so the same thing. Uh, so we just insert everything 0, 4 times 1, 2, 3, 4 and then uh, 30 3 times 1, 2, 3 and then 80 will be 4 times 1, 2, 3, 4 so our mean will be equal to 37.5 and then our background variance will be equal to 1 1 uh, 83.47 and then finally the weighted variance for th equal to 130 will be equal to 0 0.3125 times 0 plus uh, 0 0.6875 times 1183.47 which is equal to this thing times uh, 0.6875 so which is uh, 113.64 so we have all the weighted variance calculated so now we need to list out every variance calculation so let's say uh, weighted variance so first thing first is uh, for th equal to 0 the weighted uh, we just put here is the th and then uh, this is actually the weighted variance th equal to 0 our weighted variance is actually 2 uh, 6, 6 0.64 next th equal to uh, 30 th equal to 30 our weighted variance is actually 1197.92 next th equal to 80 so for th equal to 80 our weighted variance is actually uh, for for sorry th equal to 80 our weighted variance is actually 443.65 and then finally th equal to 130 our weighted variance is actually uh, a 13.64 so this is actually the whole uh, calculation of the weighted variance so what you need to do next is that uh, we need to determine the minimum so for this case the minimum is actually this value so this is the minimum so since this is the minimum we pick up our threshold value the optimal threshold value is actually equal to th equal to 80 so for this particular uh, problem in which you are given the uh, the histogram of this image the by using the also method uh, using the within class variance method so th will be equal to 80 based on the minimum weighted variance calculation
Thank you. So this is the summary of all the calculation. First, we find the weight uh, of the probability for the foreground and the background. Next, we find the corresponding means for the foreground and the backgrounds. Later on, based on the mean, we calculate the variance. And then uh, finally, based on the variance and the weight, we calculate the all within class variance for every uh, pixel values. So eventually, since we have the conclusion that th equal to 80, uh, we'll produce the smallest within class variance value. So this threshold will be used in order to uh, segment out uh, the foreground from uh, the whole image. However, there are some uh, improvement, a bit of the improvement of the also calculation. So previously, we utilized this uh, formula, which is the within class variance, in order to finding our uh, weighted variance. Uh, however, if you see from this equation, we are relying on the variance for foreground and then for the backgrounds. So, uh, since we rely on the variance, uh, the calculation will be a bit tedious because of we need to calculate the mean and then later on we calculate the variance. There are some improvement of this method. We call this thing as the between class variance. Between class variance with some simple uh, some simple uh, derivation. This is the uh, final equation of the within class, between class variant uh, formula. So if you see from this formula is the simplified version of uh, the previous uh, formula in which uh, for this case, we just relying on the weight and the mean only so we didn't we don't need to calculate the variance uh, by using this formula it means that it will be much more faster however uh, you need to remember that uh, we between class variance we're relying on the maximums whereas the within class variance will be relying on the uh, minimum so, uh, for instance, for this case, uh, if we recalculate back everything, so you can focus on the final, the, the final two rows calculation. So this is what we find by using the within class variant formulation, and then uh, this is what we find by using the within class variant. So you can see from this uh, outcome the distribution of this thing so within class variant the minimum uh, sorry the maximum value is actually tailored with respect to the minimum value of the within class variance so uh, in question please do remember to look at what is the method that you has been asked in order to calculate the threshold whether based on the within class variant or using the between class variance. So uh, thank you very much.